new episode of Excel TV. I'm your host, Jordan Goldmeyer. Today, I'm here to talk to you about how to build a budget versus actual chart. So remember, as always, stay until the end because I'm gonna show you how to build it. And then down in the description, I'm gonna have the download file. And not only that, before I go forward, I should just remind you, if you wanna, um, if you want to excel your career and you want those awesome excel tips things that we are able to give to you right to your youtube go ahead and click that subscribe button so with that let's head right into it all right everyone i'm going to show you how i built this chart you can see that i have my actuals here and then i have my budget over here so my budget is this little bar here and then the actuals are what I would call the signal and then the bar we would call that context. And what this allows us to do is take a look at what we've done against what we've planned. So in thinking about that, we don't have to be so structured and think, oh, well, this is only accounting. We can always think about, hey, what is our goal and what is our target? So really that's what I'm gonna teach you how to build and we're gonna just apply it to accounting here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna go to the insert tab and over here where it says clustered bar chart or I should say column chart, I'm gonna go ahead and click that. That's our 2D column chart. I'm gonna place it over here in kind of the free area. I'll move this over to make some room. Now here's what's really cool. I can select A1 through C5, check this out. I'm gonna copy it, that's Control C on your keyboard. And then I'm gonna select the chart, that's Control V, that's a paste on your keyboard. So I've copied this data and I've pasted it into the chart. Now look at how quickly I was able to do that. At Excel TV, we love quick tips to help you save time. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click this orange series and then I'm gonna click Format Data Series. I'm gonna show you that to you because I went through it really quick. So I right-clicked, went to Format Data Series. That brought up the Format Data Series Context pane. Over here where it says Series Overlap, I'm gonna make this 100, right? So I want uh, my budget to be on top of my actuals. So once I've done that, the next thing I can do is I can right-click into this orange series and I'll click Change Series Type. This will bring up the Change Chart Type dialog box under where it says Budget. We have Chart Type. Um, I'm gonna go and select this line here. So it should look like that. I'll go ahead and click OK. You can see that now it's turned into a line. So the reason we did that is we now wanna have access to the markers that are in, that are part of line charts. So one thing is I can do is I can just click it, right? You see that my format data series context pane is already up, but if I don't wanna do that, I can right click it or if you've closed that context pane and click format series uh, on your system. So go ahead and click on that paint bucket over there. Then you see that there's two sub menus here we have line and marker line selected by default we're going to go ahead and select marker over where it says marker options you see we have three choices the automatic here the automatic would have excel decide for us we also have this none here that's what happened by default i'm going to go ahead and click built in i'm going to click the type here notice we have all these types the one i'm looking for is this line so the line it places is super duper small what i'm going to do here is under size i'm just going to type in 20 like that and that's going to get us a little bit bigger now astute data visualizers out there will know that when you do that you lose a little precision but that's okay because i think what we're trying to deliver here as showing uh performance against some sort of context it really still delivers on that so the next thing i want to do is i'm just going to click out in the open and then i'll click back here on the line the reason i did that is if i click the line one more time it would select a data point and i really want it to select the whole line so i can go to the chart tools format tab right and over in shape outline i can click no outline and that's going to get rid of that outline so here's the cool thing right we're only a few minutes in we're basically 80 percent done if you needed to get this done quickly and you didn't have time to think about anything this would be your moment just to change that chart title and send it off right so you're already there look how quickly you're able to do that but since we're good data visualiz visualizers here at uh, Excel TV what we're gonna do is we're gonna follow some of those data visualization principles that I love so much so first thing is I'm gonna get rid of those horizontal lines I clicked them I selected delete very satisfying the way it was deleted. Um, the next thing I wanna do is I wanna put a shape outline around that plot area. So I'll select a light gray like that. And you see, I like that effect. I don't really like this border around the chart area. So I'll click into the chart area, go to shape outline. I'm just gonna click no outline. The next thing is you'll notice on our chart over here, our Y axis it has the units that we want. So we don't wanna just use these default units. That's, that's super tacky. We're not tacky here at Excel TV. So what I did is I clicked on that and you saw it brought up the format access context pane. It was already open, so it just brought me to the options. If it's not open on yours, you can just go ahead and right click it, go to format access. That's the way to get to it. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go down, down, down. You see that there's a drop down that says number. Under category, I can select currency like that. 
under decimal places. We don't need it out to two. We're not interested in that level of precision. So I'm just going to type in a zero. I can hit enter. You see that it automatically updates. The next thing I want to do is I think I want to add a chart title or excuse me, not a chart title. We have a chart title. I want to add a legend. So I'm going to click into the plot area. I'll go to design. It says add chart element over where it says legend right here. We're going to click top. So you see it placed it right there. I don't exactly love the placement. So I'm going to move that over just for a quick second. Over where we see chart title, I'm going to type in expense. We'll see if I, I can actually spell it right here. Expense accounts. This is the best thing about recording yourself is everyone gets to see all the mistakes you make. So I'm going to just drag this up, make it a little bit nicer looking like that. Okay, so what can we do next? Well, I think I want to change the color of our actuals, right? That's our signal. So. I know I have a kind of a light blue over here and a black, so that's one way to look at it. Another way to think about this is since um, the actual and the budget are actually very much related data, right? They're connected in some way. They're not independent of, of one another. One smart thing to do is to actually choose a color that would be uh, would make that visual connection in our brain. So I've gone with this kind of light orange, and you see it actually does a really good job. We get the idea that uh, the light orange is being contrasted against that dark orange, that target. So remember, look how quickly this was to build. I want you to think about this um, as you do, as how you would do this in your own work. So remember that we just added a column chart. We uh, changed the series type to a line chart. We added the markers, removed the lines. We were basically there, the rest was formatting, right? So in really thinking about this, I know everything is very step-by-step, these days, but think about how we just kind of added features and took them away. So in your own work, you don't always have to follow these steps. You can always just think about, I'm going to turn this thing on and turn this other thing off, right? So uh, really happy to show this to you. Thank you so much for watching uh, this tutorial on Excel TV. Remember that if you want to get more awesome tutorials like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button. Also check us out at Excel.TV. We have a great Facebook group, almost 8,000 members. Um, it's it's super awesome. I post stuff there all the time. Lots of questions. Just look us up Facebook. Um, uh, go to Facebook and search Excel TV. You'll see our icon. Please join our Facebook page. We also have a group. Uh, join that as well. And check, take a look at our site, Excel.TV. So until then, feel free to subscribe. We're going to have videos uh, coming out here hopefully once a week. So I'll see you then. Until I do see you again, keep on Excel. And thanks, everyone.